Jerry Tremble. Yeah, Jerry Tremble was a bad motherfucker. Golden Boy. That's what they call Atlanta's Jerry Tremble. He hails from Vancouver, British Columbia. Many, the school teacher's so wrong. Many, so wrong. Oh, all right, man. What's going on, guys? Oh, Happy New Year. Long time Happy no see. Year. Happy New Year, gentlemen. We, 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 we're all boxing fans. Yeah. <laughs> Good start to the year so far. Yeah, no kidding. Fight. Holy smokes. Oh, that was a hell of a fight tonight. Whoa. Yeah. What did you guys think, man? Oh, what'd you think, Manny? I thought it was fun huh. to watch, man, because you didn't really know who was going to win. And I mean, I thought the announcers were being a little biased. I, I agree with that. I but totally not... agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because Luke had great distance. And if you watched about who was controlling the fight in terms of strategy, I think it was Luke Campbell. I think it was Luke as well. Yeah. He had his right foot outside of... Uh, Garcia's uh, lead foot, so he was controlling the the angles more so than Garcia. But I mean, when you got power like Garcia does, like that left hook, yeah. man, and how he took it to that body, and you knew it was a vicious liver shot because there was that delay. You know, like he got hit, but he didn't go down for right yeah. away. He went he, down he, like a second or two later, and he he realized, oh fuck, what happened? Well, <laughs> what I've been delayed. told about, I know it. Those liver, liver shots are amazing because liver, is, it's what filters all your blood, right? So right. it's just below your right side of your rib. Mm -hmm. So if you touch it there, it will send, with a certain amount of force, it will send all the blood in the wrong direction of your mm -hmm. arteries and your veins. So they all flow going one way, and then they start flowing the other way. Then it sends all these, these uh, messages to your brain to shut down, and it paralyzes you. Yeah. 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 That's why, you know, it didn't look all that bad, but he couldn't get up, man, because he was yeah. paralyzed. Yeah. I was shocked when he dropped him there, that first oh. round, the second yeah. round there. Dude, yeah, the second, that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful shot, man. Beautiful left hand. Yeah. Yeah. And he set up because just before that, he threw a couple of left hands to the body, like straight left hands, and then he faked his jab, like his... His, his lead hand, his left hand to the mm. body, then he threw that left hand to the head and he had him totally beat, man. And, mm. yeah. That yeah. made made Ryan a much better fighter, though. It oh, made him sure. a much better fighter, big time. I agree. I, I agree. I've got so much more respect for him. I I, yeah. I hope it humbled him a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, 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 my wife was watching the football. Well, yeah. she started watching. She saw Ryan coming out on his little caravan there. Yeah. And she's like, I want him to lose. I want yeah. him to lose. He's too arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> I said, honey, I don't know. This guy's like amazingly fast. He, that his, his hand speed is incredible. It's incredible. The angles, the, yeah. the way he whips everything. It's just, it's wow. I was he's like, very, oh, shit. he's gifted. Very gifted. man. Mm, it's amazing. That's why they call him the flash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's got, yeah. I also found, you know, like every time, Ryan would get hit like his hair would go all over the place. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. It, kind of made it, look, it made it look a lot, I think, a lot worse when Luke landed those punches too. So he might, he might want to invest in a haircut next time. <laughs> and it Luke, reminds me, it reminds me when Thomas Hearns got knocked out by marvelous Marvin Hagel. He had all these big dreadlocks and like the, all this big hair. And his hair just flew every time he got yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes great effects for a movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So but, overall, performance was good by Ryan Garcia, you guys would say? Like Jerry was saying, man, yeah. this made him a way better fighter. Mate, yeah, he, I think he, 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 he um, it woke him up a little bit more. And when he got knocked down, he's realizing, he realized, you know what? Oh, shit, I'm a human being and I need to get my shit together. And I... Um, I, I tell you what, one thing that I really loved about, about Luke was his pawing jab and that he was moving and he was like, you know, boom. And it was like, yeah, yeah. he was good. And I, I mean, I, it, I don't know. I, I think they, I think they need a rematch. <laughs> they, they yeah. a rematch. Well, you know, I mean, going back, you got to remember only like a month and a half ago, Luke Campbell was had, infected with COVID. COVID, so, yes. So, you know, he's got an argument there that, oh, had I not had the COVID, maybe I would have been able to withstand a bit more, maybe. You, possibly. you, never, you never know, man. You but I doubt know. they'll make it a rematch because, yep. you know, there's so many big money fights like Tank Davis or Devin Haney or... There's a lot of, you know, even uh, Lomachenko or Teofino Lopez. Lopez yeah. Lomachenko would be amazing. Yeah. I want to see yeah. him fight Tank. 
Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be a good fight. Good speed and power, man. Speed and speed against power. But no, you know, no, I, I think Tank's got a lot of speed too. Yeah, actually. yeah. No, oh, he does. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a great match, man. Like, there's so much, there's so much going on in the lightweight division right now. Yeah. And, wow, it's an exciting yeah. division. Yeah. Wow. I, I just, I ran upon, I ran upon an art article that Lomachenko had been sparring with Ryan Garcia a couple of years ago, and Garcia had posted on his, uh, whatever is in, in his uh, Instagram. Instagram or whatever that oh yeah I, I went to war with uh, Lomachenko and Lomachenko disagrees with that and he was pretty upset him saying stuff like that because Lomachenko was talking about how Ryan doesn't have the um, intestinal fortitude to yeah. take the shots and stuff so uh, you know it was kind of, kind of controversial so yeah. who knows what was going to come of that as well and um, and uh yeah, because, you know, like, he's a southpaw as well, Lomachenko, so he had a good idea of who's going to win. He picked uh, Campbell to win, and, I, you know, yeah. had that fight continued, had he not got hit with that liver shot... I think he, he would have been in the game, and there's, oh. there could have been a good shot. Good for shot. Sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Wow. But that's what's great about these sports, eh, Jerry, that it yeah. can end like that. And you never know. You yeah, never and know. you never know. You, yeah. you can get knocked down in every yeah. round, and then next thing you know, you yeah. come back. Yeah. yeah. Did but, you watch but, the the undercard fight, that Alvarado kid? that mm, Rene, no. Yeah, it was, he got knocked down three times, but it was yeah. a close. He ended up, Alvarado ended up losing the fight, but it went 12 rounds. It was, it was very exciting. It was a very exciting card because he had a twin brother that fought as well uh, earlier on the card. Uh uh, Felix Alvarado, and they're both Nicaraguans, so uh, tough, tough boys. And Felix won his, his match, and then his brother Rene lost the match. But wow. uh, it was entertaining. It was an entertaining card. Like I'm glad that they're, they started the year off like this, Golden Boy Promotions, and uh, yeah. hopefully they can keep putting it on. Yeah, that was an exciting fight. It's funny, uh, Garcia doesn't even speak Spanish, does he? <laughs> not really he, does, he, he says you know he said he had he says i, I even though i don't speak spanish I, i've got mexican blood in me his dad, <laughs> his, dad his dad was the one giving him the uh, uh instructions the instructions right yeah so the guy was he was translating it right yeah that's yeah. crazy eh? <laughs> like, yeah, so the, the same guy who coach uh trains um garcia trains canelo as well there jerry yeah. oh, eddie Gar yeah. eddie, eddie Reynoso. Reynoso. yeah and yes I think that was a good uh, move by Garcia because had he not had that uh, that knowledge that was given to him by Reynoso and being around Canelo, it would have been a lot more difficult for him to get off the canvas after that knockdown in the second yeah. round. I think they were mentioning too that uh, there was one point in the fight where he was kind of just, he got excited when he almost yeah. dropped him the first time, uh, yeah. Garcia, and then he came back in the sixth round, I believe. And then yeah. they were saying that Canelo was like, hey, take it easy. No, yeah. Take, keep your composure. Keep yep. your composure, right? Getting yeah. too excited, right? I mean, that's yeah. how he got dropped the first time, right? right? He was yeah. almost letting his ego get a hold of him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yes. It's so it's so psychological and mental. This game. Mm -hmm. The fifth round was interesting. Yeah, when um, Garcia hurt uh, yeah. Campbell with the left hook, I think it was, and then Campbell went. It was right at the very end of the round, and Campbell the turned. Yeah, he turned to the war ropes to grab onto the ropes. Like, he didn't know what to do. He's yeah. so lucky that the bell saved him in that round. He's lucky the ropes were there. <laughs> yeah, that too, yeah. He had something to grab onto. Or other, he, his head was probably spinning and spinning, right? Yeah. Uh, wow, that was a fight. That was a great, that was a great, fight. great, great match. Yeah. yeah. How's his, uh, how do you guys, how do you rank his uh, footwork? Because they, they kept talking about that. How Whose uh, footwork? Garcia's? Uh, Garcia is a little flat-footed. Mm. I agree. Because, see, that's what you want to do is you always – especially if you fight a southpaw, you always want to have your foot on the outside of your opponent, whereas Garcia wasn't controlling that. It was mm -hmm. Campbell that had that control, and that's why his left hand was landing straight down, down the middle. But, uh, you know, I mean, he's just things that he's going to have to work on, I suppose. Mm. He's, well, he's 21. He's 21. He's young. Yeah. 21? Yeah. 20, 22. Yeah. He's 22. He's turned, I think, yeah. Uh, he looks like he's 15, though. Yeah, <laughs> he does. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone that fast, to be honest. Oh, you know what? Gregory Leonard. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I uh, know. Yeah, uh, so, like, I guess Tank. So, th the fight would be Tank. That's the one everyone's rooting for. That's what I want to see. Who yeah. do you guys think takes that one? Wow. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd have to go with Garcia, but Garcia. I mean, it's not, it won't be an easy one. That's see, that's another one, man, that can, yeah, anything can happen. I know. You got yeah. speed and power on both ends, and you've got yeah. it in two different ways. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's weird. I don't yeah. know, man. I don't know. That's a toss up. Um, I, I, okay, first things coming to me is tank. I don't know. That's just yeah. coming to me. Yeah, 
Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but I like Garcia too. But it'd be I an guess, exciting fight. It seemed like Garcia's head was right there to be hit, though, didn't mm. he? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. he was kind yeah. of straight up. Like, I don't know. He didn't have, like, I guess he has enough defense to get away from um, what it was coming. I mean, Campbell's no joke, and he can land punches, but it yeah. just does seem that he's his head is a little too stationary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gotta I agree with that. Moving. Yeah. yeah, that's uh they were talking about that that he went to over to that camp to work on his defense. Mm-hmm. Right. Because yeah. he's obviously still gotta learn a little bit more. But yeah. I mean yeah. I mean he finished the fight at the end of the day, right? He got it yeah. done. Yeah, he oh. had to do what he had to do. <laughs> and yeah. the confidence that it gives him by training with people like Canelo and being yeah. around the camps like that is astronomical. And I can guarantee you had he not made that move, he wouldn't be where he is today. Yeah. No, yeah. definitely not. I don't know. I switch it to Garcia now. Yeah. <laughs> it goes back to Tank. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, that that could be the fight, though. You know, yeah, Tank. That's, that's or Devin Haney. Good. They're saying Devin Haney. I mean, yeah, Devin Haney beat him in uh, amateur. Amateurs. Right. Wow, man. So, yeah, so there's so there's a lot of good... Uh, a lot of good things brewing, you know, from the lighter weight classes there to right to the super, like the heavyweights uh, with Tyson Fury either defending against uh, Joshua or getting a rematch with uh, uh, Donante Wilder. Like, there's a lot going on, and it's an exciting year for boxing, and hopefully this COVID clears up so they can get some more fans in the seats. It's going to yeah, be a definitely. very violent year. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you uh, could pick, what, what fight would you want? to happen this year you got obviously spence crawford tyson fury joshua or anyone in the lightweight division Mm. no i think i'd like to see tyson Fury because of the yeah yeah Yeah. fury against joshua yeah Yeah. the heavyweight right yeah Yeah. heavyweights yeah josh fury joshua i think you know i mean it's uh they're both Brits, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking uh, Holyfield and Tyson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that'd be, oh, yeah. That'd be uh, yeah. fantastic as well. Yeah. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah, that would be. be funny, man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. God. That was good. That was good, man. My heart was, my heart was before the fight. It was racing. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. it felt good. I was like, yeah. ooh. I'm, ooh, ooh, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I know. I was, like I said, I, got, I was super shocked when he dropped him there. That mm, was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my wife. I didn't expect she that. Goes, what, 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 what? I'm like, he went down. Yeah. I know. I, I, I did agree though. I was, I kind of felt bad for Campbell. I just felt like everybody was against him. Like, yeah. oh, counting yeah. him out. He's just yeah. some guy. Like, like, come Stepping on, stone, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. And then, yeah, like you said, they were so biased. Like, oh, Ryan is just impressive. Like, he got dropped. Like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> the whole fight. I thought so too. Yeah, those guys are all. Golden boy fanatics, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I guess we can wrap it up. I mean, yeah, you know what to do. All you need to say. Yeah, I mean, right, it was great guys. fighting, and boxing's got a good future this year, and uh, yes. hopefully they can keep it going. I'm Jerry Tremble. I'm Manny Sabrell. And that's two world champs.